So we are at the Blue Hole off of Nassau and Bahamas. You guys might have seen my previous video, the Blue Hole down in Belize. So now we're gonna go dive another big blue hole. After we go down, we're gonna probably go down, have a certain depth that we have to abide by for the, the boat rules. So let's go dive the blue hole. On this dive, I will be following my buddies, Nate and Mark. Mark is in the lead, then it's Nate, and then me. Offshore from Nassau on the east coast of New Providence Island, this blue hole is 100 feet across and you can descend down to just more than 200 feet deep. If you gaze out into the middle at the opening of the blue hole, you will see all these young reef sharks going around in a spiral, forming what they call a shark nado. The young reef sharks were not the only things we saw at the blue hole. Here's a healthy looking black grouper. Some beautiful look at Mindai parrotfish. There's one French grunt along with some long spine squirrelfish. Spiny lobster hanging out in the cracks and crevices of the wall. And this is an odd one, a southern stingray swimming up towards the opening of the blue hole. We're just gonna cruise along with this stingray for a little bit. This is just an odd place to find one. Typically, stingrays can be found in shallow coastal waters, sometimes found in depths of up to 180 feet. They prefer lagoon or coral reef habitats where there are sandy bottoms and seagrass beds. As I start my ascent back towards the top of the blue hole, I see this massive sea turtle making its descent down towards the bottom. This thing is big as a person. It's got to be either a leatherback turtle or a loggerhead turtle. It's a shame I wasn't even closer to get a better shot of it. On my way towards the top, there's a little cave opening and there's enough room for a couple of divers to go in and explore. So they recommended don't going in more than two, so I stayed out since it was full. Just outside the opening of the cave, you can kind of see the other divers hanging out, having a great time. We're going to go higher up and see what else we can see. So Mark is just leading the way and followed by Nate and myself, we're going to go look for some more critters. It looks like the stingray has turned around and going the same direction, probably looking for a way to get back topside of this big blue hole. As we exit the blue hole, so does the stingray following us out back onto the sandy bottoms. Stingrays are great to observe, just not something you see on every dive. They're just so cool to watch. So there's two stingrays just kind of swimming around, chasing each other about. Really cool to kind of see them just hang out in their own environment. Even though stingrays are docile creatures, you have to be careful. They 
do have a little barb on their tail where they can whip it and stick you with that barb. Checking the little clusters of reefs scattered about, we spot a gray angelfish. What a beautiful day diving down here near the Bahamas. People are truly blessed to be able to be down here with such beautiful life throughout the reefs. As we adventure forward around the circumference of the blue hole, we see little bubbles coming up through the bottom of the sand. This really cool effect is caused when divers go into an overhead environment. So there's going to be overhangs inside the blue hole that divers will go underneath, as well as the little cave. The air will get trapped and slowly escape up through the coral. This was actually a pretty decent dive site. Not as big as the one down in Belize, but still, this was a great dive. So Mark took us all the way around the edge of the blue hole. We still got plenty of air. We're just going to look, look around and see what else we can see. Check out these fish swimming by. I'm not really sure. I thought they were a type of palomita or angelfish. If you know what these fish are, leave a comment below. Here is a queen triggerfish. And sitting in a foxhole is a Nassau grouper. Now this next fish is going to be a first encounter for me. Now this fish is a remora and it wanted to pair with me and attach itself to my belly. Usually you can find these underneath pelagics as they're swimming around. They'll eat what you don't eat. At the end of our dive, we were watching this remora go to each of the divers and when it came up to me, it was nibbling on my finger, trying to get my attention. Now here's Captain Chris and Deckhand Morgan. We're going to get out of the water, and Captain Chris is going to show us how to catch a fish. Alright, we're rigging up a little ballyhoo here uh, with a tuna skirt. We're gonna see what uh, luck we can find out there today. Had a couple big fish spool us last week, so we geared up another new fishing reel, some new lines, see what we can make happen today. But they don't call it catching, they call it fishing, so we're gonna see what happens. What do you expect to catch on this one? Uh, let's see, Mahi Mahi is my biggest target out here. Uh, best chance of feeding the boat. It's also the most common for us to potentially find. Typically, uh, you spend most of the time fishing for pelagics on the surface. Sometimes with larger tuna on a boat that's outfitted for it, uh, you can do some uh, uh, deeper fishing with jigs and whatnot. But out here, we find the uh, the best action we get right off of the surface, where they're feeding on all that bait and everything that's congregating up top. Cool, cool. And this is our captain, Chris. So once Captain Chris had a fish on his line, he ended up passing the rod to anybody who wanted to fight the fish for a little bit. At this point, we don't know what kind of fish it is. If anybody wanted to fight the fish and reel it in, all they had to do was ask and he was happy to let everybody give it a shot and try until we reeled that fish in. So it turns out the fish that he ended up reeling in was a mahi mahi. What a beautiful fish. Unfortunately, it wasn't big enough so we ended up throwing it back in so it can get bigger. 
That's going to be another episode of Cooper's Empty Lifestyle, episode 3 of the Bahamas series. If you guys like this episode, hit the thanks and make a small donation. That really helps out. You can also be a channel supporter by joining as a member. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Hit the notifications. We will see you in the next adventure. Take care. Mark, thank you for coming along on this adventure. This wouldn't have been as amazing and fun without you. You are going to be dearly missed. Diving will just not be the same without you.